Okay, so this is uh, integration services, um, the uh, what you call the business intelligence development studio, also known as the integrated uh, development environment. But essentially, it's just a um, a work surface where you can drag um, little building blocks onto the uh, onto the surface and um, and and essentially just connect them connect them up together. So, for example, I've just dragged on a connection manager here, which is uh, pulling in information about the name of the person, just all the whole personal details. So, and then you can drag on, say, if we wanted to sort those by by name, we just then connect them up and go like sort it by name in ascending order. So, very very simple concept. It's all drag and drop. So, what I've done is I've I've pre-built a um, a, a simple package as um, Sort of outlined on the last uh, last slide. So what it does um, pulls in contact information from a uh, from a text file. So we've got the ID, the sex, the name, the city where they live. Uh, I've also got product information coming through from another another text file. Again, products they purchased when they purchase it, the amount of sales, um, and basically we just go through. Um, connected up a number of these building blocks so we've got um, contact information going down and sorting it by um, the uh, actually the check should be the unique ID associated with the customer and then we're going to merge it with product information um, the reason I've got to sort in there is that all all um, in order to run a merge join transformation you always need to have the the data um, uh, the field in which this, the joinings occurring, so the um, the unique ID, uh, you need to have that sorted. But um, uh, I'll just walk through and actually explain what um, what this package does. So I've also actually got an explanation uh, which I've annotated onto the side. So as mentioned, you can annotate the um, each one of these steps, and you can uh, use that for sort of reference, um, so you don't forget actually what each step does. But um, Essentially, what we do is we pull in product information. I'm going to convert um, the sales information into into currency, um, so the sales and text format into currency. We're then going to aggregate the uh, sales information, do a run a sum, see what the total purchase are. Then we're going to run a conditional split uh, and pull out sa um, customers with sales greater than $400. We then run the sort. We join. The two fields. We're going to run a what you call an inner join. We're going to join them on ID. And we're going to pull together all the um, the name, the city in which the customer lives, and the customer management team that's linked to that customer. And then we're going to pull through sales information. So again, very simple. Then we're going to run a multicast, which is basically um, copies the data set and sends them off into different uh, destinations. So uh, what I've done is I've written a little note here, send uh, results to the Northern Customer Management um, Team uh, folder, and this one goes off to the Southern uh, Management Team folder. So once we've actually built something like that, all it is is a matter of clicking the little um, green button at the top, and the process will run. And um, as mentioned before, the, the one of the nice things about integration services is it provides a very auditable um, uh, environment. So what we can see is that um, 48 uh, rows of data came through on uh, the, from the contact, um, the, the uh, customer information or the contacts uh, file. Um, 144 rows of data started off in the products file. Once we uh, aggregated the data, that then decreased down to 48. So obviously single customers uh, had purchased multiple products. So when we sum that, it dropped down to 48. Uh, when we looked at sales greater than $400, that reduced from 48 down to 45. We then joined uh, based on the customer ID, and since it was an inner join, we only let the uh, the rows where there was both contact information and product sales information. Um, when we only let rows where the IDs matched go through, so we let 43, uh, sorry, 45 uh, rows of data. Um, passed through and then sent each one of those 45 rows of data a copy to the um, southern field team and the um, one another copy to the northern 
management um, team folder. So, so that is a basic example of a integration services package. Okay, so now that I've given you a bit of a demo on uh, what integration services does and why you want to use it, um, probably the thing you want to do is actually learn actually how to uh, how to use it. So um, there are a number of really good resources um, uh, out there that'll help you learn. So obviously I'm going to do the do the shameless plug for um, for my uh, for my um, uh, for my blog. What I've done, uh, I've got. So my blog is analyticsinaction.com and I've got a, if you click on the data integration uh, page, I've got a whole lot of inf um, YouTube videos on actually how to, uh, uh, on, all, on the various building blocks you need to, um, you can use to build integration services packages, so from how to build a basic integration services packages package which covers uh, things like uh, connection managers and just sorts. Um, thing, another one here on merge join transformations, then union all transformations, um, use of aggregate transformations, data conversion transformations, pivot transformations, unpivot transformations, multicasts, um, using some of the more complex stuff around using variables, standardizing string formats. I've also got lots of other information um, on the uh, on the uh, on the blog as well um, around uh, modeling, analytics, reporting. Um, you can also um, ask me questions uh, on the blog as well. Um, so what we also um, so that's my uh, my blog. You could also subscribe to the to the channel by just clicking my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. Um, there's also lots of other great um, videos on uh, on YouTube. Um, and one of the uh, resources that uh, I tend to use a lot is the uh, Microsoft the MSDN um, SQL Server Integration Services Social Forum. So um, what that is is basically a um, a forum where you can ask questions, and I find it a really really useful um, place to get 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 answers to things you may be having problems with. It's um, hosted by, well there are a number of very experienced moderators on there, a lot of guys who actually write um, textbooks and things on, on integration services and you generally get an answer really quickly within a within an hour or two. So I tend to only spend, uh, if I run up to it against a, a problem which I don't know how to solve, I generally only spend half an hour trying to figure it out, out myself then I'll go, and go up and post it on the MSDN, MSDN forum and to find that all you have to do is type in there. Um, SSIS, MSDN, Social Forum into Google and it'll come up with the with the link there and as I mentioned before if you want to ask a few questions or suggest um, additional training videos um, visit um, Analytics in Action. Hopefully um, hope you've found this uh, uh, presentation useful and um, all the best with learning integration services.